So I'm here with all of the ornaments now placed on the tree. This is day two of me decorating this tree. And what I started with first were the large clear ornaments that I purchased from Dollarama. So they're the ones that are just clear glass light and they're actually plastic with frosted snow pictures on it. And I placed those down the center of the tree and then off to the sides in a triangle. So I went kind of like a tree shape. Then I went in with my greens, my larger greens, and you'll see some on here are a lighter green and some are a darker green. I wish I could have gotten a little bit more of the darker green. You never know, I might get some more in, but for right now, um, one of my favorite green ones on this tree is the dark green one from the Dollarama haul that looks quilted and it has gold on it. Um, something else that I like to do when I'm doing my trees is a lot of people tend to hang their ornaments on the tips of their branches coming down and up the sides and around. That's okay, but you don't get that nice three-dimensional or four-dimensional look to your Christmas tree. So after placing my larger ornaments down the center and on the sides, I then went in with my main color, which this year I chose to go with the green, and I placed those in around here and then on the opposite sides of where the larger glass ones were and the clear plastic ones were and then I then started to place some of the smaller ornaments like your two inch or one inch ornaments inside on the branches so let's say that's the branch and you've placed an ornament here I then went in here and sometimes even here to hang at different levels giving that three-dimensional look and giving more um, more depth, more interest into looking into your tree as opposed to everything just hanging on the outside of the branches. Something that's really neat on this tree is um, when I was first married, my first Christmas tree, I made my ornaments. And for those of you that are old enough to remember, um, here in Canada, we had a store named White Rose. And I went to the store and got these small glass baubles that were on wires and I grouped them together and I got white lace ribbon from the fabric store and I did clusters of pinks and whites and silver ornaments and placed them on my tree. And that's how far back some of these ornaments on this tree go to the early 90s. Um, one of the ornaments on this tree that you'll see several of them around is the deeper green and it's a pear ornament. So those are back from the early 90s and I've been able to use old ornaments mixed in with some of the newer styles on my tree. So an ornament for me never goes to waste. Um, I was happy to be able to reuse those ornaments. Another um, green ornament on this tree, which I had mentioned in my uh, Home Sense haul at the end, I talked about the green ornaments that I had gotten from the bay. And those are clear, those are, sorry, those are glass, ornaments green glass ornaments and on the bottom of them they're um, they look like they're just splashed or sponge painted with gold if you will and I wasn't sure if I was going to be using them on this tree or not and I actually did and I think it turned out really nice and then the other ornaments on here um, some of them um, I purchased I want to say maybe eight ten years ago and they are large silver just hanging pendum like ornaments and they are glass and they've got a really unique kind of like a finial shape to them and I've used those sporadically on the tree um, another big glass one that I have it's clear glass and in the center it has like a, a teardrop silver inside of it so it's almost like a double ornament and the lights on the tree just reflects really pretty that's another thing when you put your ornaments on your tree make sure you place some of them the ones that are really reflective closer to the light bulbs on your tree because then they even sparkle that much more and look that much more prettier you'll notice on this tree that this year I didn't put ribbon or bows all over the tree I decided to kind of keep it a little bit more traditional even though I don't have traditional colors on the tree this year, I don't have any reds. Um, which is kind of unusual for me because I've had red for a long time, but I just really want to change it up. And I just find that the green, the silver, the gray, and the white turned out to be that 
much more of an elegant tree for me for this room. On the top of the tree, I am going to be doing a bow and I'm going to be incorporating um, some of the ribbon that I got from Michaels. So I have a selection of green velvet. It's a large three inch wide ribbon and I have a gray satin ribbon and I have a champagne glitter ribbon. One other tip for you when you're decorating your Christmas tree is to make sure that your decorations, they're starting at the top, come all the way down to your bottom branches. Don't neglect leaving those branches with no ornaments because it just doesn't look finished. So some people will say, well, what about your Christmas gifts and stuff? Well, you can kind of work around that. Um, come right down, put smaller ornaments. If you have to maybe even cluster a few smaller ornaments together and put those on those lower branches. And that's where you can actually put those smaller ornaments on the tips of your branches so they're not hanging in the way of when you want to put your Christmas gifts in. The next part of me decorating my Christmas tree is I like to use these picks as fillers and they're not a real um, bright gold. They're a little bit of a softer muted gold and they have sparkles on it. And then I have these shorter glittered floral sprays. Aren't those pretty? So I've got seven of those, and those are from the dollar store, and I've got 10 of these. Now, this branch, when I put it in the tree, I am not gonna be wiring this onto any of the branches on my tree because my tree's pretty full. I'm gonna be able to just to stick that end in. This wire that's on here is bendable and flexible, so I can turn it and bend it how I want. Let's say I was gonna put one right in here. Just watch what I do. That goes in like this and I could leave it like that but that's a little bit too out for me from the tree and I want to turn it a little bit more in so it's laying and see these I can bend those like that downwards and sideways if need be so that's how I would go about putting them in the tree but I want mine to be balanced evenly because like I said, I have some of the smaller picks to still pull in. So right off the bat, I know I'm not liking the way that's looking, so I'm gonna pull it out and I'm actually gonna be starting on the bottom of my tree. And right down here on the very bottom, I'm going to place this in and lay it. So it's just layered on top of the bottom branches of the tree. And then you can still see the ornaments that are here and I'm going to bend that, and again, recognizing that there's a light bulb there, use that to help showcase that branch. The next pick I am going to put right in on this branch here, so it's right above this one, kind of on an angle, and because I have such a large hole here, I'm going to use the wire on this floral pick, and one of the limbs on the branch here, one of the branches, and I'm going to twist it around my floral pick to secure it because I want this branch to be right here to help to fill that little bit of a gap. And just a couple of twists and push back and that one is in and then I'm going to bring it underneath that large ball and twist that in. Some people would say, well, why wouldn't you put that branch in first? I like to get my ornaments on the tree and then see where the fillers are, because to me the most important part of the tree are the Christmas ornaments. So once I have them placed, then I go in and fill. Hope that makes sense to you, but that's just how I like to do my tree. The next branch, I'm going to place right up here, and I've got this one ready to go where I curled it. So it'll just hook in here nicely for me. Look how nice that went in. So that one is just laid in. I'm gonna leave those branches coming down and just sit these ones up a little bit. Doesn't that look pretty? And then I'll just continue like that. I'll do one more, most likely, up at the very top. And then I'm going to do alternating ones coming down like this. And then I'm gonna go in with these smaller picks and these, so I've got the one pick here, I'm gonna put this in on the side here. So I'm gonna just step back and let you see something. So I've got the foilage 
picks right here and I've got the more sparkly ones on the outside. So if I do one more, I'll grab another one here and I were to place that right here, there's my triangle. Can you see that? And that's just laying in, giving a little bit of more flair and glam to my Christmas tree. So I'm at the end of day two. As you can see probably from the lighting, it is the evening time, but this is when it worked best for me because I work full time during the day, but we wanted to make sure to get this video done so that you can enjoy maybe going out and getting your own ornaments, that hopefully this inspired you to maybe do something a little bit different with your Christmas tree. From this part here now, you can see where I've put the topper on. It's a crystal glass snowflake topper and we've added a poinsettia. That poinsettia is from the dollar store as well. And we added our bow that we made and then at the very bottom of the tree, I put my faux fur tree skirt on and filled a lovely cream um, canvas-like Santa bag that you would maybe use for gifts for somebody. But for right now, I have filled it with some, stuffed it with some snow and just placed that at the base of the tree. So there you have it, my main tree in my house for 2021, this Christmas December, and the colors are green, gray, white, and glass. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your comments. If this is your first time coming on to my YouTube channel, Anthea Style, I want to say thank you so much. If you are returning, thank you again for staying tuned and for watching my videos. Please make sure to engage with me, leave me your comments, suggestions, any tips that maybe you have for when you're decorating your Christmas tree, or maybe future videos that you'd like to see, please let me know. I'd love to hear your comments and hear your feedback.